boys and girls. Happy Monday. Monday means guided drawing. This week we are learning about plants and everything. So I thought our dry guided drawing might not be about plants, but something you do plant, which grows, which are flowers. So we are going to be doing some flowers today. So we're going to start with our pot. I just need a black pen. I'm using my black Sharpie to start with, and we're gonna start with our pot. So, I did mine about, a, I find my half line for my paper, and I just go a little bit down, and I'm gonna make a skinny rectangle to start with. And then I go in a little bit on each side but I don't hit all the way down. If you hit all the way down, that's fine. And we can go all the way down, then we don't need to worry about finding a line across. We can go all the way down. Now, if you wanna decorate your pot, that's fine. You can leave it as you want. I gave it little curly cues to make it fancy. There we go. Now, before I make the stems, I wanna make the flowers, so then I know where how much room I have. So the fancy flowers I made, I started with the middle of the flower. Rather than making the big flower, I started with the small flower. So we'll start in the middle and we'll just kind of make almost, almost like a flower. So kind of just a little curly around. And then I'm gonna do the same thing and I'm gonna go around it. And then I'm gonna go around it again. Now it depends on how big you want your flower. If I wanna go around it again, I can, or I can just stop right there. Then let's make another flower. So I can go above, I can go below, I can go around. So let me make one below and a little to the side. And then I make again around. Now I'm sure gonna run into my other flower, which is fine. I just stop and jump. Just something like Mrs. Harder taught you. And I can go around again, or I can just stop right there. Then I'm gonna come over here and I'll make one more. And I'm gonna stop because I'm out of paper. But it's okay. Maybe I'm like, hmm, I think I want more. Maybe I want another one up here. Maybe I want a lot in my flower pot. And I run out and that's okay. And I just continue to make them until I'm happy. Then once I have all my flowers, that's when I'll do my stems. I'll just do a long stem from the middle of my flower to my pot. And that might be, I might have to stop and jump don't forget to get that flower stem in your pot. Okay. Now, once you have them all in is what I did was I watercolored mine. As you could see, you might not have watercolors, but before I watercolored mine, I just painted my or I colored with marker my stems, so then I was able to just paint right over them, which makes it the easiest way. So you definitely can just use marker for those. Now, if you choose to use marker for the whole thing or crayon, go for it, why not? And does all your flowers have to be the same color? No. Just because Miss Hemway's looks like this, does yours have to look like this? No. Does your pot have to be brown? No. Do you have to have squiggles on your pot? No. Does each flower have to be all the same color? No, not at all. You could get fancy and you could use multiple colors. Maybe you want the middle to be pink and then put purple on the next one. And 
then maybe that outside color you choose to maybe do pink again to make a pattern or you want to do maybe a yellow or an orange to lighten it up it's up to you what you want to do and maybe you want all your flowers to have these three colors or maybe you want to mix up the colors that's totally up to you maybe you don't want to do a background maybe you'd want to do a background maybe you want your blue sky maybe it's foggy maybe you have a rainbow background it's up to you right it's although i guide you i guide you to where you can finish the rest on your own okay so happy drying and have a great monday we'll see you next time friends bye